let's show you how those great players got it done. Kemba Walker back to work for the Hornets. Missed the previous game with a knee injury. They won that game against the Cavaliers. And here's Marvin Williams and one. Charlotte up 16 to 14. And Marvin had a night. He had 27. Luol Deng the steal. D. Wade. Oh. D. Wade letting him know he still got a little left, lift left in those legs. That was a collective woe right there, Diaz. <laughs> D. Wade had 22. Nicholas Batum to Marvin Williams, and it was tied at 47 at halftime when the Hornets honored the great, and I want to stress great, Hall of Famer Alonzo Mourning. Alonzo Mourning starting his career with Charlotte. Classy move to recognize and honor the big man, Zoe. Was Hassan Whiteside inspired by the presence of former DPOY Alonzo Mourning? Could be. You know, works with him now in Miami and uh, certainly played big boy basketball tonight. Yeah, get rid of that. So 10 swats, 10 boards, and 10 points for Hassan in 27 Take minutes off the bench. Uh, I presume he may be in the starting lineup in his next game. I think so. I think it's, it's safe to say triple-double, 10 blocks. Oh, and oh, I'm oh, going to catch that one. Hail that one. Young man. So Whiteside missed six games with the hip oblique injury. Uh, came back uh, midweek, had a five block game, now a 10 block game. I guess proving to Eric Spolstra that he is good to go. So is Marvin Williams floating it in. Charlotte takes a one point lead. Then Chris Bosch jab stepping, driving, heat down one. But I heard a tweet get Bosch to the line. He made the free throw heat by two. They realize he goes to his left a lot, don't they? <laughs> Read the scouting report. <laughs> Charlotte hey, down three. <laughs> D-Wade knocks it away, and Luol Deng is going to pound the nail. What a play by Wade. Wade, extra effort, getting a little steal. Nice dunk. Ooh, nice and then nice. they come back here. The Hornets go in the other way. Gerald Green fouls Jeremy Lin. Lin goes to the line and makes the first two. And he intentionally misses the third. However, with 1.3, Spencer Haas can't collect that rebound. Yep. Ball game. Miami wins it. And they have won 20 of the last 23 against Charlotte. And get this, Miami ends a stretch where they played 14 out of 16 on the road. They ended at 8-8, eight and eight, winning six of the last seven. Miami was 0 for 9 from three-point range. First time they won in a game like that since March of 2012. Charlotte had won two in a row and five out of seven, but their bench was outscored 29 to 12. Jason Jackson caught up with Hassan. My teammates, they, they did a great job of just coaching me all the way. You know, and um, we changed the offense. We just came in here and just I just got a win in my hometown. We know that you're making your way back into the starting lineup, but coming off the bench, can you hit this game a little bit differently than when you're starting and therefore have this type of impact? You know, I'm going to just come in and um, whatever amount of minutes coach give me, you know, I'm going to just try to come in and make an impact. You know, I'm going to just come in and, and just try to play the best and be the best I saw on white side I can be. Heat Nation has seen you do some amazing things, but getting your triple-double, Number 10 block, number 10 rebound all at the same time. I assume you were aware, sir. Um, they ain't doing it with blocks. That's all I got to say. You know, um, I mean, uh, my teammates really um, did a great job of just making them, forcing them to the paint. You know, um, I know I'm going to just come out here with a chip on my shoulder ever since the All-Star game. You know, I really felt like I should have been in that. But, um, you know, I'm going to just come out here and just, and just play with that aggression. 